know, you're the mayor of a diverse city. I, I'm curious, what do you see as the role of immigrant immigrants in revitalizing communities around the country? And, and also, and you alluded to this, you know, how do you how do you make this argument in a na- when we have a, a nation that's somewhat divided when it comes to the topic of immigration? Well, I think I think the role of immigrants is is vital. I mean, we're a city where sixty percent of our residents weren't born in the city. We're a city where I'm the first mayor of Miami, actually born in the city of Miami in the entire 125 year history of the city. My dad came when he was 12. My mother came when she was six. Um, and in one generation, my father got a you know a full scholarship to high school, full scholarship to college, graduated with two graduate degrees from Harvard, wrote eight books and speaks four languages. So so my dad is, is, is a great immigrant story. He was the first Cuban mayor of Miami. Um, and so, you know, it, it's... To me, you cannot disconnect, and this is where we this is where we're failing. Anything you cannot disconnect being an immigrant from being an American. There is no disconnection. Americans are immigrants. Period. That's who we are. That's our identity. That's actually what makes us special and what makes us so great. So I think that's the first problem. I think the second problem is we have to stop looking at this um, discussion and argument as a you know secure the border or let the border be wide open and let people come in, you know, unabated, right? It's not, it's neither one or the other. Let's, 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 let's all agree, which I think all the polls show that the 11 million undocumented people in this country are not going to be expellable, right? We can't, we can't round them up. There's no way to get them out of of the country, uh, even if we would want to. And so at that point, we need to identify them. Uh, We need to be able to, you know, they should pay taxes. And frankly, they should be able to earn, and I think the, the right word is earn, their way uh, to be to becoming citizens, right? And and you know if they have to pay a penalty or whatever, you know for for technically violating the law, then that's fine, you know. And then for the the, the current uh, uh, border uh, crisis and, and discussion, why doesn't anyone talking about what is the the real legal immigration threshold that we should have? It doesn't seem like anybody's ever talking about that. I think we're like one and a half million a year at this point. You know, we were at three and a half percent unemployment. This is an economic issue. Our birth rates in comparison to developing countries are on the floor, right? We don't have, we don't have the workforce uh, to be able uh, to, to create the kind of economic dominance that this country has had for generations and generations. And frankly, what's amazing about immigrants, including my parents, you know, and my grandparents, is they do the work oftentimes that's at the bottom end of the economic spectrum, wanting to work their way up, which is the American dream. And oftentimes in one generation, because of their grit and because of their uh, ingenuity and their hard work, uh, become wealthy in one generation. Uh, so I, I think we've got to recapture that spirit, recapture that story. I don't think it's a partisan story. And if we stop talking about it in a partisan way, start talking about it that way, I think immigration reform will be very easy.